Hi guys, this is Greg Siegel from Codable, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a message box on Python. So this is a really uh, cool little tutorial, um, and you can do a lot with it. So we're just going to write out the code, uh, the standard code for uh, at first, and then we're going to have a little fun with it and uh, see if we can do a few neat, little neat things with it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is type in from, uh, and then the capital T, and then Kinter. Um, and then after that we want to do a space again and type in an import and then space again and then the star and we're going to enter to go to the next line after we've done that we want to type in msg uh, space equals space message in capitals brackets open, it will um, do the other bracket as well then we want to do text equals speech marks um, and then we want to type in our text. For the, so for the first thing, we want to just type in codable or whatever you want. But for mine, we'll just keep it simple and type in that. We're going to enter again and type in msg.config. Just like that. We're going to do the brackets open. It'll uh, set another brackets for us. And then we want to type in vg equals singular speech marks. Uh, and then we want to type in pink. Uh, and then a comma. We're going to do a space font equals brackets open, uh, we're going to type in singular speech marks again, times, comma, uh, not here, sorry, here, comma, space, 16, comma, space, speech mark, singular, uh, italic, and then we want to end it like that, there we go, it all closed off, got double bracket there, bracket there, and another one there. That's just, uh, as I said in my other video, you want to have each side balanced. So if one here, one here, that's two, and we've got two here as well, so they're balanced. We know that's going to work. Uh, let's just check over this code, make sure it's uh, perfectly all right. Yes, it's looking good. Um, okay, we've got the commas. Yeah, that's looking all good, so we can go down to our next line. So. Go down to our next line and type in msg.pack brackets open. It's going to create us that secondary bracket, and um, that's all good. We're just going to enter again for our final line, which is main loop brackets open, and again, it's going to create that second bracket. I'm just going to zoom in for you guys. Um, allow you to copy that. I will post it in the box below so you can just directly copy and paste it right here. It will look exactly the same as this here. It won't have the uh, different um, styles that we're going to do. It will just be the standard one which you can then change for your own preferences. Okay, that's looking all good to me from what I can tell. If we do have any errors, it will be uh, easy to sort out. Okay, right. Let's just zoom out and let's run. Okay, perfect. So as you can see here, we have our pink box as stated there. We've got codable, which is the uh, text that we wanted, just right there. It's in times font, um, and it's 16 size, and it's in italics as well. We, we know that just by looking at it. Okay, so we're just going to close that, and we're going to have a little bit of fun with it. We're going to change some of these, um, you know, differences which we can change. Okay, so I want this to be white, um, and we're going to just type in codable Python tutorial two. Okay, and I I don't want it to be times because it's quite boring, so. We're going to try to type in something a little bit more exciting. Chalk duster. Um, should have spelt wrong. Yep, chalk duster. I, I really like that font. It's a pretty, pretty cool font. We're just going to type in 24, make it a little bit bigger. And instead of italic, we'll have bold. Remember, don't put this as a capital, otherwise it will fail. I'll show you if you do. Again, the importance of capitals. Remember, like here, capital T, capital M. They are there for a reason. Try not, don't try, change them, otherwise you will get errors, it won't work. Um, so, yeah, keep remembering that if there is a capital there, keep it as one. It's there for a reason in programming and scripting, uh, programming especially. Uh, capitals are there, and you have to keep to the rules.
Okay, so let's just move this to one side and we'll run this. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We've got Codable Python Tutorial 2 as stated here. It's in 24 size font. It's bold. It's in the chalk duster. That's what it looks like, chalk duster font. And the pipe background's white as well. So that's pretty cool. So, um, right, so let's just change this again. Now, I'm just going to prove something to you um, just in case uh, you don't believe this is true. Uh, chalk duster is built in to my Mac, uh, as with any Mac, I believe, it, um, or any modern Mac at least. Chalk duster is built in as a standard font. Um, it won't be on a PC, but uh, so if you try chalk duster on your PC, unless you've installed it, which I'm not even sure you can do if it's a PC, um, but try it, it won't work obviously because it won't know what chalk duster is. Um, but I installed a font called Gotham, which is a really, really nice uh, font, and I advise anyone who's uh, looking to get some nice typography to get this one. I'll show you what it looks like. It's uh, really nice. But uh, we're just going to try and type Gotham in. So Gotham is installed on my computer. I want to prove to you that you you uh, just don't you don't have to just use standard built-in fonts. You can use anything that's installed on your PC or Mac, uh, and this is why I'm going to prove to you now. So if we just move this aside and we press run, uh, it will pop up. Here we go. Right, so there is our door. Um, here is our Codable Python Tutorial 2, and it's in the Gotham font. What I'm going to do is, uh, you probably won't be able to do that that well. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's make a 120 sized font. We're going to run this. There we go. So that is Gotham. I, I think it's a lovely... Uh, little font um, that I use really all the time now um, but yeah so that looks really awesome um, and it makes the box bigger when you have a bigger sized font I believe as well um, I, yeah the little error that we got up there I think it just crashed for some reason I don't know why uh, but yeah so that's how to create a message box you can type in anything you want in up here it's a really nice little piece of code I hope you enjoyed this I'm Greg Siegel from Cadable. There'll be more of these Python tutorials uh, coming up later, but for now, thanks for listening.